Hey everyone, this is James. Uh, I'm just going to take uh, a few minutes to show you something that's pretty cool. Um, it's not really new, but it's been there the whole time, but not a whole lot of people know about it. So I figured I'd uh, to make a video and show you all. Um, and uh, let's just start. Um, I've got four inner pocket spots, but really the, this it, what I'm going to show you is gonna, can be used on any fixtures, all of your fixtures. Um, it's just really cool. Um, so I'm just going to go into the editor. I've already made a few scenes just to kind of show you some examples or have some stuff ready to go. You know, um, static effects, and then some moving effects, stuff like that. So if we go to uh, Scene Builder, and um, I'm going to show you two things. First thing is fixture groups uh, right up here. It's pretty handy. Um, it allows you to quickly select fixtures um, for programming or on the fly. And um, so let's just kind of, I'm going to create like three groups right now. Um, I'm going to do fixtures one and three. So group one, two, and four is group two. And then all fixtures, it would be group three. And uh, so what you, I mean, you notice, you can, you know, click on these and recall them. And, but if you right click, you can link them to keyboard command, MIDI command, easy remote. Um, I've got easy remote set up to go, but for these groups, I'm going to use a uh, keyboard shortcut. I'm just going to use uh, numerical keys on my keyboard. Uh, one would be one, two, two, three, three, and so on. Uh, so number one is one, right click, number two is two, and number three is three. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And again, you can use uh, whatever you have selected, and then you click the, the plus group button. That will be assigned to that group number. You can only have up to nine. Uh, but not to be plenty for most most applications. So, um, but I mean, you can do anything. You could do spots one and three plus wash two and four, or part left, part right, and so on and so forth. Um, just create groups to that reflect how your setup is uh, in in real life and the order that you want things to to flow in. Um, because fixture selection is key for when making effects that go by the order of the fixture that you selected. So one, two, three, four, no matter what fixtures those are. So, uh, but the other part I wanted to show you, I mean, besides the grouping thing, that's pretty cool, right? You know, but if I, if I go to in a pocket tab and whether I have one fixture selected or all fixtures selected, I can right click a preset um, like red. If I right click, I can learn MIDI Easy Remote. So I'm gonna do that. I've got six buttons set up on my Easy Remote. So first one will be red, second one will be green, and third one will be like, uh, I'll do magenta. So if I if I enable the dimmer, so obviously yeah that affects all of them, um, and that's fine because what I'm going to show you later will be pretty cool. Um, so let's do some gobos. Let's do gobo one. Let's do gobo two. I like this one, gobo two, and then gobo three. So again, I'm just doing three buttons each. So make a gobo jump effect manually. And so uh, what's what's cool with this is, um, well, obviously this is my blackout scene, so I'm just gonna reset stuff, you know, shut it off, uh, turn the Turn the colors and gobos off and all that stuff. I'm just gonna clear out of here, but I've already linked that stuff. So now I can go back to my live tab and play a scene. 
and if I open up Builder, I can use the keyboard keys to select a group of fixtures and then override their color or their global live on the fly. So, um, you know, you can just kind of change things up a little bit live on the fly. You know, some people want different color combinations, but they don't want to program every, every uh, scene again using those color combinations. You can literally just select your fixtures or all your fixtures, change color, change gobo, and be done with it. You know, so this is a great tool for um, adding more live flexibility to your show. Um, really handy, incredibly useful. Um, once you're done, you just simply go to user options, channels, automatic mode and they will go back to how they were programmed in that scene so once again um, I, don't, I don't have to open up build it or back up again because well I don't have anything selected but if I if I knew I had that group selected I could close it and because I know it's already selected I can close it down and then just trigger stuff on the fly with that So, I mean, just kind of mess around with stuff. I mean, you can't see, but I'm I'm just uh, tapping on the buttons on my easy remote on my iPad and just changing things up. I can just uh, reopen that up again and select those fixtures, close it down, modify these. And uh, I almost kind of wonder if I do, if I tap three, yeah, you don't even you don't even need to open Builder. You just need to have something active. So let's try this again. Um, so nothing active, but they are on HTTP. So if I select uh, keyboard key number one, that should be. Yep. If I do number two. Again, not opening builder. So, and then number three. So everything. So that's cool. I, I didn't have to open up builder to uh, get to that. But if I'm, sh I'm sure if I reset it to automatic, um, obviously I can't do that anymore. But since they're all still selected in the background, they automatically come back up. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, live, live on the fly override for your uh, keyboard trigger, your fixture group, you know, you know, keyboard one, keyboard two, keyboard three. Uh, close it down, and then easy remote different colors, gobos, really flexible, live on the fly control, easy enough to reset. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you that to you guys. Uh, I hope some of you find this useful. Uh, once again, it's I only have four fixtures, but you can easily scale this to your entire show with up to nine fixture groups and as many as many uh, MIDI buttons as you can make on the Easy Remote application. So, uh, incredibly handy. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and, you know, have a nice day or night or whatever it is.